What's happening, gamers? It's KMega405 coming to you live from the 405 while I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers. What's going on, everybody? If you are new to the channel, thank you for coming by, checking me out. Uh, be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button uh, and that invisible like or dislike button because it does work. I see it. I don't know. YouTube is tripping. Uh, but hey, once I probably get out of YouTube purgatory here in, here in about another month and, and do live shows, then maybe all of that get fixed. I have no idea. I don't know. But regardless of that, I will say this. Um, I am appreciative of every, all the support and everything else. And, and, uh, CJ, I hope the volume is loud enough. I know I was talking real low had company yesterday and I didn't want to be just loud and boisterous. Uh, you know, when we have people here and stuff like that. So, or I should say my wife had uh, a lot of company. So I didn't want to get involved there. And then plus I was full because I just got, I mean, I had a plate. I should have waited a long time ago after that. But anyway, going too long. Uh, <laughs> let's get into this. Okay, so today there was this, um, there was some PlayStation news that came out. And the PlayStation news that popped up, it was pretty interesting. Um, it was all about a logo. And another logo, I should say, and it was, it caused a lot of attention. So um, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show the small version. And then once I get done talking about what I wanted to, uh, what I'm showing you right now in this article, uh, I'm going to go through like kind of like the history of, uh, because there was this, this big old controversy. Everything has got to have a controversy now. It's, it's crazy. And it, I know it's not only in just in gaming, it's in sports, it's in movies and everything else. But I mean, oh my goodness, it just, you can't even really have fun with it anymore. Like, so I posted something about this whole logo when you see it. Uh, and uh, it was pretty funny. I mean, in fact, I'll show it right now while I'm talking about it, right? So uh, make sure there's no sound because, you know, Sony is tripping right now. They're going after everybody for anything. So uh, <laughs> let me hit this, right? So as you can see, right? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. What am I doing? All right, here we go. So as you can see right here, boom, you hit this and you see this animation, right? you like, whoa. I mean, that's clean. It's, it's, it's all colorful. It looks good. You know, it looks all right, right? You see that? Like, and then right here, right there, boom, boom. All right, so I see this, right? And I mean, I, I see the first part because it looks just like another, uh, you know, animation logo. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. But it, it, it was more so this, this particular thing right here where it says PlayStation Studios. Now, you know, I, you know me, I like to poke fun at the stands because they're so easily... Uh, they're, they're so easily deterred, man. You can just, they're like, they're like, you see, they're like a bug going to a light. You just flash anything and here they come and then they want to try to tell you, you your L mega this, L mega that, blah, 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 blah. Right. But <laughs> I, I'm poking jokes because it's like, what, what's going on? Like, I mean, I, I know the power to the players, things like that. Like Sony has always been very creative with their, um, with their style. Uh, when it comes to advertisement, things like that, they've always had like this swag, cool thing about them right so looking at the whole animation itself so look let me let me go back to it again and like i said i'm going to show a bigger version of it so people can see it a lot clearer here in a minute uh here a little bit later but i mean when you go back to it and you look at it like i mean the lights and i mean man look at that like it's it's clean you know god of war you know what I'm saying? Ellie and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, okay, all right, I see you. I see you. you like, it's cool, you know, the little. And then, like, you know, it sucks because I would play the sound, but you know how that is. So you can't do all that. But, you know, everything is cool. And if that is, I mean, I kind of wish that that's the whole startup to the PlayStation 5, right? Like, that would be hot. But I, I think we've already seen that little chime from the PlayStation 5. Uh, but this is supposed to be the new opening animation for all their games that's coming out that I guess that's going to be a part of what they do. So that's what this says in this article right here. Uh, and, and, and listen, it was, it's a pretty good read. It's, it's you know, what I'm saying? I like going to this site, actually, uh, and getting a lot of information, a lot of, uh, you know, it's it's not so click uh click, click. Oh, see, I said I said a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to get hit up. Uh, click baiting. But it's uh, one of those things where it's, uh, it, you know, they, they go into some detail, uh, they, but they, they, I, I like their, their articles a lot more than a, than a bunch of others. But uh, it goes on into here and it says, 
this particular thing, I'm skipping all of this right here and going to this certain point right here where you see the logo. And it says, the PlayStation Studio branding won't be ready in time for the launch of The Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Toshima, which are both due to arrive this summer. It will also miss the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, uh, although LaPel says that any future games it release on any other platforms will also carry the, the branding. Let me read that again. <laughs> Let me read this again. The PlayStation Studio branding won't be ready in time for the launch of The Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima, which are both due to arrive this summer. It will also miss the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn on PC. Although, Lumpel, if I said that name wrong, please let me know in the chat. Let me be country. Uh, Lumpel says that any future games it releases on other platforms will also carry the branding. Also says right here down at the bottom, because normally when they when they post something like that, then you always see the rebuttal list right after afterwards from the uh, in, in the paragraph. So in the next paragraph. So here it goes. It says uh, there will be ver uh, variations on the vid video assets. Uh, Lapel tells us. And although the clip may look like something you would see from a Marvel movie, the inspiration uh, for the branding came from the games themselves. OK, so <laughs> the, that had nothing to do that had no rebuttal to what that point right there is right here it says although lapel says that any future game it releases on other platforms will also carry the branding so and this was really funny because once i posted this on on uh on twitter you know it it it, it gained a lot of attention of course it it, it pissed off some stands stuff like that whatever and then everybody else is kind of laughing, having a good time with it. Of course, some people want to take it left and, and be ignorant. But this is somebody made a really good point. I can't remember who that was. And I apologize that I can't remember. But they said this. And this is what got me into wanting to look for articles or anything about this was saying that since they changed the name to studios, they're doing the same thing that Microsoft is doing and their games are going to start going to other platforms. They said that before I seen this article and right there, as you can see, they already admit that they're going to start putting games on other platforms and that will carry the branding. And it goes even further down into this and it says, and, and, and one, some of the reason why they want to change that is because they want to, and it says, um, He's, uh, you know, and it, 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 it doesn't change anything. It doesn't give a rebuttal about uh, what what was said at that paragraph up there. It, it just basically says, look, um, this is our reason and why. We have never had any problems of getting people to play our games. They're usually critically acclaimed, award-winning franchises that are games of the year. But for the average consumer, it's not always clear what games come directly from our worldwide studios. And to your point, they've come to understand in many cases that these are really robust, innovative, single player experiences. Of course, there is a variety of games that don't fit into that mold. But nevertheless, we wanted to make sure people know that this uh, that these are uh, games coming from our worldwide studios. OK, they're on that same track, man. We have been saying this. I know I've been on this train. I've been saying this ever since I don't know how many years now. PlayStation is going to get hip on the fact of how much money they're losing. And they want people to are understanding about their brand. And so they're going with this whole logo. If it was just like if you go back to the history, which I'm going to break that down here in a second. But if you go back to their history, if it was just only going to be primarily on PlayStation, then it would have been playstation originals or playstation studios uh well i mean not playstation studios but playstation something else uh you know playstation uh, some, some playstation 5 studios it would have kind of gave that indication look 
this is our games. Uh, th these are our games that's sing that's going to be single handedly on this primarily uh, uh, console and and not going anywhere else. It's kind of kind of stick it to the, you know, stick to their their guns of how they were in in in, uh, uh, in this generation about exclusives. This right here has already just made the point that exclusives is out the window, Jack. It's done. Or I. I still, and to this day, it doesn't matter about a game going to PC. I'll throw that shade back at stands because I, because I think the whole narrative is silly. It's really stupid to me. But, you know, from their standard, if anything goes outside of uh, a particular console, then it can't be exclusive. I mean, the nitpicking about what's this and what's that from what I've been listening to from people and hearing from people all through this generation has been nothing more than just gross. It's been it's been ridiculous. A PlayStation game is a PlayStation game. A Nintendo game is a Nintendo game. An Xbox game is an Xbox game. Because it doesn't matter. Minecraft, yeah, it's on PlayStation, it's on Nintendo, but look who's going to be making the money off of it. Who's going to be making off the most revenue off of that game? Microsoft. Xbox. Period. There's nothing more to be said about that. Any game that's on Steam or on uh, that's on the, coming from the Windows Store, Microsoft is making money out of that. So when Horizon Zero Dawn and when Death Stranding goes over to, uh, and, and there's been countless other games, especially th uh, second and third party games that PlayStation has is going to PC. Uh, those, you know, PlayStation is going to be making the money off of Horizon Zero Dawn and going to be making the money off of. Uh, a Death, Death Stranding. I mean, and it's smart because there'll be a lot more people to have access to those games, and those games will actually have better chances to be to get sequels. It is, it you know, and then also whatever PlayStation might want to try to do with their service of PlayStation Now, if they're going to try to enhance it, that's a whole other topic for a whole other time. But that quote right there that I talked about is is impressive i mean because they're basically telling playstation fans they have been telling playstation fans for a very long time and they've been showing playstation fans for a long time that they're going in the same direction as what microsoft is doing nintendo can get away with this because nintendo is basically by all accounts is the king of exclusives if people want to hold their hats to those type of terms because they buy those they don't just talk about them they buy them they get out and they go buy them uh I, I can't even think of that that little game out that's right now. It's it's already over 10 million copies. Smash Brothers, number one fighter in the world. Mario, Zelda, like they they play they buy and play their games. They don't just sit there and make podcasts and talk about them over and over again. And then you have people that only has maybe 10 games in their library, but then they get they get ad revenue from all of these listeners thinking that they are the hardcore gamers like they pretend to be. I, I, I it, it it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And if anybody want to question my integ integrity on it, I'll put up my gaming library on all of, on everything that I own up against anybody. I'm not saying I have the most games than anybody, but I guarantee you I spent a lot of money on this on this hobby and I will continue to support all of these consoles, especially the ones that you know, the ones that I own and the ones that I'll get. It's just to me it's like the company itself, PlayStation, is letting people know, get ready for this ride. Because, yeah, we're still going to give you the games that you want, but we can't do it the same way that you've been expecting us to do it. It's just not going to happen. It's not logical. So uh, instead of me beating a dead horse on this, because I've said this a million times, let's get into the fun part, right? So, okay, so this whole PlayStation Studios thing, it's, it, it, you know, they got a lot of flack because of the whole, you know, kind of biting Microsoft thing but in all retrospect right playstation did this first they did it first with this thing called playstation original so i'm gonna get off of this and go over and go to the uh and go and, go and kind of let you guys see uh take you to the lab all right so we'll go back and you'll see that it'll it'll loop for a minute until i find what i'm looking for so uh let's see um but the thing that trips me out right like i mean because it's really nice it's really nice but it's it's short it's not, you know, it's it's kind of short and, uh, yeah, you know, I mean it's cool, but I, I mean I, I mean it's really cool. I'm not I'm not even going I'm not knocking it. Like the noise, the sound, everything within it, it's really cool. It's polished. 
and, and from what also in that article, it did say this too is that what they're going to do is they're going to add different uh different different characters and things like that so let's take it back to when we to what playstation first did this this was a while back and it was playstation originals uh let's see if this is it right here all right uh hold on let me i gotta you know what i'm saying i'm trying to make sure that i'm doing this the right way here we go okay uh i don't know if you heard that chime Peter saying, hey, man, what you doing, bro? What you doing? What you doing? So anyway, so I don't I can't tell you what year it was or anything like that. But here we go right here. All right. So this is way back and it's only just one particular game. And as you can see, it's. It's Ratchet and Clank and it's PlayStation Originals. I mean, that's cool. They, they had that, but they took that away. And so basically. You know, people would say, well, well, Marvel copied off of them. And I mean, look, you got to understand, though, Sony is also a movie studio. So uh, they could have got this from somewhere else. And I'm going to tell you this right now. The GOAT, when it comes to these type of animations, I, I, w I can't wait to show you that because there's a GOAT. And I remember it goes way back, too. Um, but the GOAT, that's I don't know anything else that goes past that. So if anybody else got any information of what uh you know what what these type of little animations like that uh can go back as far as the one that i'm going to show here in a minute let me know but yeah as you can see all right so we've seen the the original playstation one originals from way back and then we've seen the new playstation logo uh the playstation studios both you know this at this time would have been really cool the other one with the new PlayStation thing, it looks hot. I'm not I'm not clowning it. I'm just clowning the whole studios thing because, of course, I got to do it. You know, I got to do it. Of course. So it's uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it, it looks very similar. The PlayStation one looks very similar to. Let's see where yet, where yet, where yet. I got to get to you. Of course, looks good to this. And, and you know what? I, well, you know, one thing I noticed about this one, as you can see, here's Forza. And then look at this. Team Osiris lock right off the bat. OK, Xbox. You know what I'm saying? They got this looking clean. You got gear showing the good stuff. Minecraft. I mean, there's a lot more variety of things. I mean, that's uh, I think that's Wasteland 3. Uh, I know live wire played, of course, the Mighty Hellblade. Uh, you know what I'm saying? State of Decay. Ori, you know what I'm saying, the Mighty Sea of Thieves, uh, you know what I'm saying, of course, Master Chief, but that's still from Halo 5, but I mean, really dope, really dope, really clean, I mean, when I first seen this, and especially when I started playing games, like when I play uh, uh, Tactics, when I play Gears, Gears of War Tactics, like when that sound comes, dun, 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 I'm like, whoa, that's fire, right, it's just, it's just dope, it's clean. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. You know, and that's that's what I'm talking about. It's it, it, it brings polish. And of course, if they're going to do that with every game, um, we happy few. I, I knew I, that was still in my my mind about that game. Uh, and, and so like it's like, whoa, you know, and I and I know place. I mean, Xbox as well is going to start showing different animations because they've done that with their games already. And PlayStation said they were going to do theirs with with with, with their games. It's going to be really cool. And then, of course, let's go ahead and show. Uh, where everybody was saying that that they got it from at first, which I guess you you know what I'm saying respectfully, PlayStation did it before there wasn't. Well, I don't know. I mean, no, because the because the Marvel Studios didn't come out until uh, I don't know. I don't know. We, that that's a good question. That's something that I'll probably have to research and look at a little bit more of which one came first with this. Now I know with this, this came later. This this type of you know animation came later. Uh, but definitely gonna have to go back to the time where there where, where the uh, where like Iron Man first came out when the first Iron Man came out and you know how did they do their Marvel Studios? Now you know, saying like I said, I think the PlayStation Originals was first. I really do. I I, I really do. So anyway, all right. So without further ado, we got all these 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 great uh, logo animations and. People can get into this whole controversy of who did it first, who did it better, blah, blah, blah. But all must hail the goat of logo animations. And, and, and this takes me way back. Because when I first saw it, I was like, yo, this is when I first had uh, 
Oh, let me get to it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Okay. This is when I first had. Uh, okay. I was let it ride. Don't let it go. Let's go. Boom. All right. So I, this it tells you how old it is by looking at the clip. I'm going to let it ride. And I'm going to say it, it brought back so many memories because every time that I got in there and I'm like, what? What? Are you kidding me? And, and, and it, it, it almost gave me like chills because I was like, damn, this is really dope. Um, just took me back because when the music comes in, you know, right off the bat and people that's around my age, they already know what this is. And so that's why I ain't saying anything yet. But this is the goat. This is where it all comes from. If there's anything else that that did that that did this type of animation that everybody's talking about now, then let me know. I mean, yeah, you went out of space, Jack. OK, here we go. Boom. Boom. Look at that. You come through the sky, man. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Yes, HBO has been doing it for a long time. Look at that, right? No, not as not as uh, cool as showing stuff up in the middle and things like that. But the the bubble animation with the letters and you going inside of it and doing all that stuff, classic, instant classic. So, yeah, um, you know, pay homage to the to the to the to the main one out there, right? So like right when I saw that, I was like, man, this is when we first had cable back like in nineteen eighty two or three, I believe. Man, and I was kinda like, man, it it, it just brought back all that nostalgia and just watching sit back with the family, watch movies just like in that. And I remember looking at that like, whoa, that looks so real. Like it's crazy as a kid when you look at that stuff and how polarizing it is. It was, and now you look at it and you're like, man, like it, it's crazy. But the nostalgia is amazing. So yeah, um, I definitely want to hear your thoughts about this. I mean, what do you think about the whole situation with PlayStation, uh, with uh, uh, Lapel uh, saying that you know PlayStation Studios is going to expand beyond the platform? So kind of basically letting you know that their game, that their game studios. Is it's kind of like movies, you know what I'm saying? Like the the budget is getting so big for these single player, and for these uh, I should say these these exclusives for 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 both of these consoles, it's it's at the point to where it's like, you know what? It, it's it's time to make more money, and 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 let more people venture out and start seeing this because they know that they're not going to pull all of the PC crowd away to consoles no matter how powerful they are they'll get some but they won't get everything everybody and and even though i look at pc guys and, and and ladies and they they try to get into this whole spill because of the whole uh valhalla situation and we kind of found out now that uh that that the that it was running off of uh direct x 11 and not 12 so that's why i couldn't do 4k 60 and then people are complaining and doing all this i mean this will be something we'll definitely talk about in grg but I mean, you got to understand that game has been in development for some years and they're thinking more about the fans of this point. And instead of thinking about the gamers uh, that's going to be picking up these new consoles, it's at least going to take another two years. As I made in my last video that they're going to be uh, before they 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 hit the stride to where they can feel confident to start making just games primarily for both of those consoles. But anyway. Uh, like to hear your thoughts as usual. I'll do another video tomorrow. I might as well. I mean, this is, I ain't got nothing else to do. So, uh, except for game, that's it. So everybody have a good one. Uh, man, like I said, enjoy yourself, hit that subscribe button and enjoy this, uh, sign out right here. Looking at this one more time. No, I'll, I'll show the PlayStation thing because that's, uh, that's what the, that's what the video is about. So let me go there. Let me go back to the PlayStation thing. Let PlayStation get some shine out of here. You know what I'm saying? Let people say, oh, you can't make a hate PlayStation. You don't want to show the PlayStation stuff. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Everybody have a good one. Peace.